Before I get started, if you know someone who could benefit from this video because they struggle with meal planning or you just know some friends who are really into it, you can share this if you don't mind or you can even, if you, I don't like sharing things, can I be honest? Um, I don't like to share things, but did you know if you tag somebody in the comments that they'll see it, you don't have to share it out all over your page. Uh, so, but you can share if you want to, I love that. Or you can just tag somebody in the comments. Um, um, and I appreciate if you do that because we're getting ready to get started with what we're going to talk about. Okay. There is one thing that I do that makes my meal planning go so much faster. And it's not rocket science, but thank you, Carrie, for sharing. I really appreciate that. Here's what you do. You sit down and you have a seven themes. Now, for, for a long time, my themes were Mexican night and other different nights, but I felt boxed in by that. That's one of the mistakes that I made because I told you at the beginning, I've made all the mistakes. Um, and so now instead what I do is each day of the week, and it varies based on our activity, but I have different themes in the form of one night is chicken, one night is beef, one night is pork, one night is meatless. Now let me look at my list. Um, one night is fish. One night we always have pizza. Sunday night we always have pizza. It's something that sometimes I make it. Sometimes we buy it, sometimes we have delivery, but Sunday night is always pizza. And then the other night for us is venison, which I know most people don't have the opportunity to be able to cook with venison. My husband is a hunter. Um, so one night for us is venison, but for you that might be something that you could theme like breakfast. A lot of people like to know that once a week they're having breakfast for dinner because, you know, breakfast for dinner, Brenner, I love me some Brenner, especially if it includes syrup and butter. Those are two of my favorite things to eat in the world and put them together and I'm just over the moon for syrup and butter. So that, and I know people are like, what? But really, if you know every single week that you have the same themes to follow, when you sit down to do your meal planning, you can pop it out real quick. You're like, okay, what fish, what fish dish would we like to eat? For example, this week, our fish, fish dish. I'm a poet and don't know it. My feet are long, fellas. Our fish dish is tuna mac, and we're having it tonight. Um, and so I know all of the different things that we like to eat that have fish in them. And so whenever I'm trying to plan a meal that has fish, I just will pull one from my memory and put it down. We like Parmesan tilapia. We like salmon cakes. We like... Um, fish tacos and so I can tuna salad I just pull those from my memory and that makes your meal planning go so much easier on pork night you're like hmm what do we like this pork okay we'll have pork chops tonight or we'll grill a pork loin or if Kroger has pork loin on sale for $1.79 a pound you know that that's going to be going on your pork night so we've got beef chicken pork fish meatless I love meatless night as much as I love meat, I love meatless night. Um, and then for us, it's venison. For you, it may be some other type of wild game or something like breakfast. And then one night, if you just really scheduling in pizza for one night every week, I haven't met very many people that don't like pizza. So being able to have that one night where you're like, okay, this is pizza night, that is so helpful. When you sit down to meal planning, I'm telling you guys, since I've been doing this for years, when I sit down to meal plan, I can knock it out in five to ten minutes. Yes, we rely heavily on leftovers, Christy. If not for leftovers, I'd be a very sad, sad, sad homemaker because leftovers save my butt all the time. Um, and I cook with the intention of having leftovers. So just write that down whenever you're fixing to sit down and meal plan. I just write it on a sheet of paper that I've got sitting beside me. I'll write out chicken, beef, pork, venison, and then I will write out beside it what which dishes we'd like to make before I put it on my meal planner. Now that's um that's where it comes down to you. I do have a free printable meal planning guide for you guys. It's over at humoroushomemaking.com. I will link it below whenever I'm finished with this video. It is the last post, so if you just go to humoroushomemaking.com, it's the last post I have up. It's a free PDF printable. It actually links to two different ones. It's mine and my friend Jessica. She has a different version. I put them both together so that you can see which one is more likely to fit your suited needs. For example, Jessica's has a grocery shopping uh, list on hers where I keep my grocery shopping list separate, but a lot of people like to be able to write it down 
right with their meal plan. So there's just two different ones there, um, and you'll find one that, that is easy and it floats your boat. Because like I said, you guys, <laughs> my biggest tip is always make your things easy because if they're not easy, you won't do them. And so if you just have a simple printable meal plan piece of paper where you can jot it down real fast, that's why you're going to stick with it. If it's this big elaborate thing, you're not going to do it because ain't nobody got time for that. But if you can get your meal planning done in five to ten minutes using the simple beef chicken list or whatever it is that your family eats, maybe your family doesn't like beef, I don't understand you right now, but we can still be friends. You might need to look into some kind of beef recovery program. Um, so those are just some tips. Well, just mainly one big tip that has been so helpful to me. And whenever I tell other women about it, they're like, oh yeah, that's a really good idea. So they start implementing it. It helps them actually be able to do their meal planning faster so that they stick with it. And as we know, that meal planning is going to not only help our budget by helping us not buy a whole bunch of random bottles of mustard that somehow end up in our pantry, um, but it it also saves our sanity. So when the kids are like, Mom, what's for dinner? You know, you can tell them. And, you, you know, that's very helpful, at least here in the Myers house. So I hope you guys have found those uh, tips helpful. And I will link below the description where you can go directly and get the free printable. Uh, it will stay there. So all you have to do, you can save it to your computer or you can go back to Humorous Homemaking whenever you need to get it. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I will be back later this week. You can find me all across the web where I'm at Humorous Homemaking. I love you guys. I will come back and read your comments. Thank you so much for sharing and participating. And remember, in the walk of life, it's only too late if you're dead.